Yo, this your boy Matthew Judon with the Baltimore Ravens, man. Check out the three point conversion. Y'all know what it is. Y'all already know. Man, Mr. Controversy here on Radio Row for the Three Point Conversion Sports Lounge. And I got my guy, D Intellectual. What up, what up, what up? And we're here with a special guest, an up and coming name that you're going to know about. It's my man, Keith Ishmael, offensive lineman to play for San Diego State. What's going on, sir? Man, I'm doing great. How y'all? We're good, we're good, good. good. You talked about you just came back from the Senior Bowl. Yes, sir. Underclassman. But what should people know about you? Uh, that, I'm, that I'm here, you know, that's why I went to the Senior Bowl to show that I belong. Uh, coming out as an underclassman, coming from a non-Power 5 school, you know, I just want to show that I can compete at the highest level. Absolutely. Now, you should say you came from the Senior Bowl. How was that whole experience for you? Man, it was great. Uh, it was long, it was a little tiring, but made a lot of good connections, met some good people, you know, showed my skill set to the scouts, mm -hmm. just got out there and got after it. Absolutely. Now, as an offensive lineman, I remember at one time, that wasn't the they call, used to call you all the big uglies. Yeah. Now offensive linemen making money now. That, that, <laughs> this is now the premier spot on the offense because you have to protect the quarterback. What is it like knowing that when you go into the NFL that it's not just that, okay, he's just an old lineman or whatever. Mm -hmm. People are paying attention to you now. This mm -hmm. is a big position. Well, I mean, the people that really know football, you know, they know that how important the offensive line is. I play center, so you know, if I don't snap the ball, we don't got to play. <laughs> And so, uh, you know, we're kind of the unsung heroes. We do a lot of the dirty work. We don't get a lot of flash from the running backs or the quarterbacks, but our job is just as important. Now, you, like you said, you came out early. You still had a year eligibility. What were some of the, the factors went into you deciding to go ahead and make that transition to the NFL? Well, I just felt like I was in a place in my life where, you know, I want to take that next step. You know, maturity-wise, I want to get out of the college environment. But uh, first and foremost, I wanted to graduate, which I did. Mm -hmm. uh, graduated in three and a half with my degree thank you jesus and then i want to come out healthy and want to get an invite to the senior bowl you know opportunity to, to play against the best of the best in the country which i did can you tell us how i don't want to say hard because i guess it is hard but the work you have to put in the place center, knowing that you got to snap the ball but you still get your hands up yeah the blocking how difficult is that uh, it's, it's it's not easy i gotta say that you know <laughs> blocking sometimes with you know one arm between your legs uh, you in a lot of compromised positions, but you know I've worked really hard on my craft and my skill set to get comfortable with that snapping, stepping, blocking, and you know, once you get into a rhythm, once you get into a groove, mm -hmm. you know it's easy. Mm -hmm. Just takes Absolutely. practice. Just takes practice. Absolutely. Now you grew up in Oakland, right? I did. Now, tell us, growing up in Oakland, what it's like, and you know I know it's you hear difficult stories and it's tough, tough neighborhood things like that. Yeah. What was it like growing up there, and what did it do for you? to get prepared for this? Well, dad lived in San Francisco, mom's lived in Oakland, so, you know, that in itself, having a, a split household was tough, but you know, I saw a lot of things. Um, you know, we didn't have a lot of money growing up, so I saw a lot of struggle, we struggled. It just humbled me, the biggest thing, you know, it made me appreciate everything I got, it made me appreciate this opportunity I have right here. Um, you know, I know, I never thought I'd be in this position. I just mm -hmm. trusted God and, you know, I allowed my work to, you know, speak for itself. I just kept my head down and kept grinding. I didn't want to get caught up in all the antics and all the things that my friends was doing and other people around me was doing. You know, I could have gone down a bad path and I, I, you know, I decided to stay straight. And I saw a life I wanted to live for myself and I went and I got it. Before we let you go, what are your um, best attributes? On the field? On the field. Or off the field. Uh, you know, on the field and off the field. Go uh, ahead. We, we need to know. On the field, I just think biggest thing is consistency. You know, I try to be consistent with everything I do. Uh, try not to slip. And that's the biggest thing that'll keep me successful at the next level is just playing consistent throughout my whole career. But uh, my quickness off the ball and my strength. Uh, I came from a really run-heavy offense in college, so I know I'm a really good run blocker. I know there's a lot more uh, passing in the league, so things I'm just trying to work on and up my pass game and my technique. But you know, those things, my quickness and my strength off the ball and my, my intelligence. You know, I love the game. I love to study the game and watch film all the time. You know the ins and outs, especially at center. I got to command the line. Uh, I'm just as important as a quarterback getting calls out. So that's on the field. Off the field, uh, I mean, I'm a pretty easygoing guy. I love to cook. So oh, okay. my free time, I love to cook. 
uh, let her go out, go get good food to eat, let her watch movies. So, you know, pretty laid back. So, if y'all don't know, that was a message to the ladies. You know, I'm not just kidding. <laughs> but, you know how to cook already. Right, 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 right. You good. So, once again, Keith Ishmael, San Diego State center. Watch out for him. We, you know, every team need a good center. So, yes, we looking for you, man. We rooting for you. Thank you. And um, we'll try to stay, we'll stay in touch.